Hi there, how are you? My name is Dave and I want to thank you for coming by to check out my channel, Line Kite Wind. I truly appreciate it. In today's video, I'll be flying this monster right here. This is Bomber and he is a Phaser XL by HQ Kites. He's got a 9 foot 2 inch wingspan and is constructed of ripstop polyester and carbon fiber hardware. And as you can see, he is a beast. Bomber was given to me by my mother-in-law, great great lady back in 2019. Due to the fickle nature of the weather here in Oregon, I was not able to get him into the air until the spring of 2020, and initially it did not go well. Truth be told, I've only had him in the air five times, and three of those ended in crashes that damaged the kite. I made a few mistakes with this kite right out the gate. First, it was simply too much kite for my skill level at the time. Uh, secondly, I strung the bridle wrong on his maiden flight, which led directly to a pretty bad smash up. You'll see that in the first chunk of video. Third, I flew him in too light of a wind the first time and crashed him, and then too strong of a wind the second time and crashed him before I got used to the kite. The third crash, the uh, fifth time I flew him, uh, was due to me getting overly excited and trying to maneuver the kite like I did my smaller kites, and that just did not work. But my own ineptitude aside, the two successful flights I had were really exhilarating. This guy pulls like a truck, and you really have to be prepared for that. It is also a large kite, and is not as nimble as my smaller kites, a concept I did not get until it was too late. So, yeah, I busted the leading edge between the lower spreader and the wingtip three times. The first two times, I was able to take it into town to Keith at the Kite Company in Newport, Oregon. Big shout out to Keith. He really knows his stuff. And if you're ever in Newport, Oregon, be sure to drop in and check out the Kite Company. Uh, it is amazing. I'm not sponsored by them. I just really love the shop. And Keith is great, as is his staff. Anyway, he was able to fix it the first two times, but did not have the material for the third. And poor Bomber has been languaging in his bag in my basement ever since. I have plans on fixing him this year because I think I've got his number down and will be successful in the future. Let's hope anyway, right? Anywho, here is the video of me flying and crashing Bomber. I hope you enjoy it, and as I always say, if you have a line, a kite, and some wind, life is good. 